Neil Dawley there. Here's what's next on Today Tonight. From Margaret River to Riverboy. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> petrified my first day. The local lad chasing a Logie. If I'm having a hard day, I ask myself if there's anywhere else that I'd rather be. And um, the answer is always no. He was like a father to these boys. But now they've seen his bad side. Home and away, next on 7. In one short year, Nick Westaway has burst onto our TV screens, becoming a Logie-nominated actor. After growing up in Margaret River and studying in Perth, the summer day heartthrob has hit the big time in Sydney. Mark Gibson caught up with Nick on the set of Home and Away. I was lucky enough to get that call, <laughs> saying that you got the role, so, um, yeah. And it's um, all been a big whirlwind from there. He's the new kid on the Summer Bay block and he's already made quite an impression. This is Kyle, Kyle, Bianca. What, what you're living here now? Yep. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> petrified my first day. Um, but uh, everyone was just so lovely. Georgie Parker gave me a big hug and said, welcome to the family. A family whose members include some of the biggest names in Australian acting. Home and Away first hit our screens in January 1988, a year before Nick Westaway was born. Must be weird being in the diner at such an iconic part of TV, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people have probably been in and out of these doors over 25 years. So, um, yeah, I actually had my very first scene in here uh, the other day, so that was, that was quite exciting. The fictional Summer Bay isn't that different to Nick's hometown of Margaret River. My dad was heavily sports and my mum was sort of the artistic one. She played piano and um, she is in the theatre group back home in Margaret River. So um, I played a lot of sport while doing that creative music and drama and everything else. Uh, so I kind of had to choose um, when it came down to it after I left high school which way I wanted to go. And I nearly ended up going and doing a sports science course, but I just knew in my heart that I wanted to, to give the acting a shot. Nick cut his teeth at Perth's Star Factory, the WA Academy of Performing Arts, where he played an abusive husband. I'm sorry. I mean it this time. Just give me another chance. And a kidnap victim, student films that helped him get an agent. Please. If we don't stop the bleeding, he'll die. And a role on Home and Away as Kyle Braxton. Trust me. Now, trust me, Jamie, this is not over. I'm only just getting to know my brothers. No one's going to take that away from me. There's a lot coming up, actually, that's um, going to show down. a few different sides Shut to Kyle uh, as he's trying to make amends for his sort of the things that he's done in his past. The schedule can be gruelling, even filming all day at sea, but Nick loves the variety. You'll have a, a really full-on day with, you know, five days, a couple of 14-hour days and location and back to studio and all the rest, and then... The next week you'll do two or three days and some of them half days and pretty chilled out with a couple of scenes. So it's good. You, you sort of enjoy both of them. It's that big roller coaster where you've got a really busy week and then you pray for a bit of a quiet one and it always comes along. Nick, who turned 24 last week, is now a Logie-nominated actor on one of Australia's favourite shows, with his feet still firmly on the ground. If I'm having a hard day, I ask myself if there's anywhere else that I'd rather be. And um, the answer is always no. So <laughs> as long as that doesn't change, yeah, I'm going to give my best shot. And if I were you, I would start praying that Heath makes it through this. Don't miss all the drama from Summer Bay straight after today, tonight. Back soon.